Hello and welcome to little Minecraft short video. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you a little redstone mach machine I made. Um, it's a vending machine. So I'm going to show you the redstone afterwards. Um, as you see here, this is the chest. Um, the chest checklist, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Feel free to correct me on that. Uh, oh, the chest registry. Uh, yeah, so number one is for an example armor. So if you get back here, you can see press for number one. So if I want armory, I can just press this button and if we wait. Uh, wait a minute. This should be probably. Oh, it's stuck here. Oh, I okay, get now. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, now I just start from back here. Yeah. So if you want armory, you press this button that says press for number one. And here comes the chest, and it has enchanted iron armor, and leather armor, diamond armor, and gold armor. And then there's return, and it says no leave approved to return one. I should change that a little bit of camera. So you just step on this pressure plate to return it. So, if you get back here, and you for example want some TNT to mine or blow or grief, I don't know, and you just press for number 3. And here comes the TNT, but here comes the little change, because if you want to return stuff, you need to um, have this clear pool, so return to. And you need to press this and pull this lever, but in return 3 you need to pull both of them. So you pull both of these levers, press on this pressure plate, and you see it returns to where it was. So you need to unflick these switches though, which I'm going to change in the later version. But let's see. And, uh, ooh, I want diamonds! Let me go back here. You see, press for number 5. Press this button. Uh, diamonds come out. Uh, you take. Yeah, you want the pickaxe and the sword, take 5 out of them. And. Oh, I forgot. That. But. Uh, oh. But to uh, return number 5. You need to press all, pull all levers, and then you just click all levers, and you stuck my pressure plate, and it turns back to its original place. So now the explanation part: how this button pressing works is. See here, when you press the button, the redstone go down, goes down here, into this torch, and if you didn't know when a torch gets power from, if you activate, if you power the block a torch is, a redstone torch is placed on, it turns off, which allows this to turn on, and the redstone torch is actually pistons, so when you, when this Resident torch is allowed to get power. This piston will extend, and I have button back here to show you. You see, it goes down there, and the reason why is you can't. If you were just had a piston and try to push the minecart, it wouldn't work. But if you have a block, uh, you the block pushes the minecart, and then a minecart. 
is on a powered rail with a block behind it, it get launched out the way opposite way of the block. Yeah, that might have been a little hard to understand. But when block pushes the minecart here, it will go down there. That's what it is. Here. And I'm just going to return it. So that's what happens when I press the button. This torch goes off. This torch go. This torch goes on. And this piston pu uh, pushes the minecart down. So it's easy for all of them because they uh, just pass through the rails. So there's nothing special with that. Uh, now with the levers, um, this goes on to do with it. So to return uh, the first one, it's nothing because it just goes on. But when you flick this lever, um, the rail here you, you see it. It switches. See now it goes into that, and now it goes that way. Uh, the reason to this is, as you see here, track switcher. And when the lever is, when you have pulled the lever, this torch is on, and when the torch is on, the track goes that way of the southwest to the southeast. I don't remember it. I just built it in, in a angle. So if you want to, when I, if I make a tutorial for this, you need to make it in the point. You need to make the back of the pistons pointing towards the sunrise because if not there might be chain different and uh, then that's not my problem. <laughs> so back to this, when you pull the lever this redstone gets activated making this torch go off allowing this rail to turn and goes into number two. So that's pretty much it. So yeah that was Actually, I think I might have explained a little bit too hard. <laughs> well, you could probably explain it easier. Yeah, that's all there is to it. And yeah, I might make a little easier. Not easier, but I'll make a little not more compact either. Um, as these torches are just to power these rails, by the way, and these torches. All of these grapes, nothing special with that. And card activation. I got my back here when I was testing. But that is all it is to it. And I just love how there's no lips and snow. <laughs> I tried doing this for like a minute now. But uh, I want to make this with a little bit easier to activate. It's a little bit few not as much levers and buttons and some buttons I need that buttons <laughs> not some pressure plates, I don't know uh, but yeah, feel free to use this if you want to and if you, got, if you want to I can make a tutorial and that's about it thank you for watching and goodbye